Oh, Fom. Hello. Is my audio set up? I believe so. I agreed to do this because it's 8 p.m. here. And so theoretically, 8 p.m. That I mean, that can't be too bad, but I've been awake since 3.30 a.m. So I'm, I kind of want to die, but I can't, I can't die yet because I have to finish this song. Once I finish this song, I can die. I'll be happy and dead just from sheer exhaustion at this point, genuinely. Um, so I'm going to be working on this. Before I give it a play, I realized I got sent the stream overlay and I have a 21 by 9 monitor and this is a 16 by 9 stream. It's simple. It, there's 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 so much dud space. Um, it's not ideal, and I I had lots of ideas of what to put there, but I was really indecisive. I just couldn't quite make up my mind. So I figure other people can make up my mind for me. So uh, every five dollars, every five dollars, we spin this wheel, and this wheel is is my nightmare. Um, it's, there's nothing good on the wheel, uh, but it will slowly fill out the space below. Um, and hopefully by the, by the end of the hour, we can maybe get to a full 16 by nine with no dead space. Um, I, if we don't get that, it may actually be a good thing. The, the things this wheel could do could cause my stream to cease functioning from sheer bitrate issues. I'm not sure if I'll survive. But anyway, that wheel will will come back should we get some donations. We're really close to reaching the next goal, which is, of course, 1,337. Nice. Very good. Very excellent. Okay. In the meantime, this is the tune. I'm Hamish, by the way. <laughs> My name's Hamish. Um... I'm, I, I produce music approximately once every 18 months with the name Burnt Mood. Um, and this is the song I've been trying to make for the last six, 16, 15 hours. I don't know. It's a long time. A long time. There's no intro yet. I've, I've spaced out this area to put an intro, but we'll just, I'll just give it a playthrough. Why not? Why not? Okay, well, I'll play the second half, because I do like the second half as well. But we have two wheel spins um, to get through. Who is that? I didn't actually know the donation name. Let me, let me double check. Ziki. Kaziki. Thank you. All right. Let's bring out the wheel. And <laughs> let's, face, let's face my nightmares. Oh, okay, so this is, I'm going to go into the form Discord, and the first GIF I see in any channel, I will add to the stream overlay um, in the blank space. I, <laughs> I've tabbed back in, I've immediately seen a really, really good GIF. This is the GIF. We've, we've got it. This is really good, by the way. You've done a fantastic job. Um, I love that. <laughs> All right, give me a moment to get that onto the OBS. That's a really good dog. 
This one's like, just so you know, that's a high quality dog. All right. Wow. Look at. Wow. All right. I don't know where. There's other things that will uh, maybe get in the way at some point, but in the meantime, yeah, you can go. Away. Yep. 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 That's that's a good spot for that for that little guy. Cool. Excellent. But there was there was ten dollars, which is actually double five if I can still do math. So we do need uh one more. Ah, of course. That would be uh Ethos Lab Minecraft Let's Play Episode One. A a great choice. A fantastic choice, chat. I couldn't have picked a better option myself. So we will, of course, uh, for the rest of the stream, I'll have to move our tiger over there. There we go. But we will, we will get to watch uh, the seminal Minecraft Let's Play by YouTuber Etho, um, episode one in beta one point. I think in alpha even. So, you know, just just enjoy that uh, for the rest of the stream. Um, sweet. And and hey, we meet. We 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 got to one thousand three hundred thirty-seven for charity, which is fantastic. And of course, the next is 1,420.69. Cool. It's a bit a ways off, but you never know. You never know. All right. Um, I'm going to continue back to the song. I genuinely do need to finish it at some point. I would like to finish it not in f four hours' time, because I don't think I'll be alive in four hours. But um, I'll just go from... <laughs> So, 
things to do, things to do. Make an intro. That's pretty important. I've got like 10% of an intro. There's a bunch of like gaps for fills, for one shots that actually need to have the fills and one shots. Um, why is there? Why are you? Hang on. I thought I muted you. I I have my cutter in this spot. <sighs> so there's lots of gaps for fills and one shots, which is good because it would be. It's just it's just the hard parts putting in fills and one shots, and then making it not sound kind of meh. Um, but I think I think let's start with the intro. So I have the pad doing the chords. Oh my god, I'm starting to lose my mind in this project. I don't really make drum and bass much or ever. So this is my first time <laughs> attempting the genre, which is a great time. Unironically, I think a great time to try something new is all, all, all nighter. Because there's like, there's simultaneously like a ton of pressure, but no pressure. Because, you know, it's just for fun. And so I generally make stuff that I never normally try and this time i tried drum and bass it was like the third idea i scrapped like two ideas like 10 minutes in and i was like no nah. um so i figure we the, the drums are sort of hitting full force in this we probably okay we'll, here we probably want them to come in like relatively full force and then we need to find a way to dial them back down just a little bit so that once we go into the actual first drop and it's accompanying silly modes um it actually has the impact we want because otherwise at the moment like the bass has a lot more impact but the drums are identical which is not great but here we probably just want to like high pass, low pass. I don't know. Some like, I might just use vinyl. Vinyl is always sort of a fun little cheat code for that, I think. Let's get rid of all the dust though. Okay, job. I might. I might. Back to the rest. I never trust it. Oh, I have a. Okay, I have an automation to. It's, it, it effectively quietens the hats, but it's not actually quieting the hats. It's um, making the fade out increase. So the transients of the hats hit the same volume. Um, if I just solo the hats and play them. It has a somewhat, it, it affects like perceived volume, but not actual volume that much. I don't know if that's good or not. It's just sort of how I got what happened? I don't know if I want these to be full force. It's the auto frequency that is queuing out some of the low ends. Okay, I don't want to touch this. I don't think I want to touch this. I, I, never mind. That sounds really cool. Slightly low past. Something has to be done about the hats. That can't be. It's just no good like that. What if we... <laughs> well, that's fucking awful. Uh... 
stuff for the what do you even call that like breakdown bridge I don't know probably open up just fill out just a bit of bit of rain bit of bird song in the distance <laughs> Note. I don't love that E. Spooked by automation, so I'm just gonna replace somebody elsewhere with that. something to actually lead into that because at the moment you just have this like really beautiful if i do if i say something sure off uh really beautiful like pad and then that's not really beautiful that's harsh and aggressive and it's just not a very natural transition at all I mean, we could do something kind of harsh. My idea would be to turn the pattern into something like super atonal with a shifter. So you just start like frequency shifting it. That'll sound, I mean, it, it might sound really bad, but it might sound kind of bad, but also like s just move slightly away from that, like super melodic, super pretty harmonic vibe into the more aggressive, bassy crunch fest. But uh, this could be awful. In fact, we probably wanna tape stop it. No. Well, that was nothing. I didn't, I didn't do it. Oh, cause it was seven hertz. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's not gonna... Okay, there's something there, I think. But it just needs to be... The, the pad obviously fades out quite a bit. We might want to, just for this one... Extend it out. Ooh. Oh, that actually works a lot better than I thought it might. If you're watching this and you can chat, by the way, you have to keep me to account because my brain is half sludge so i don't like what i just did sounds really cool to me but dr drowning myself in in a bath sounds pretty cool as well because i'm just so tired so <laughs> i need to be kept in check I think that works. 
works. I think that works. Need to do something about the race. Um, I, what the hell is this automation? Wow. Okay. Um, that's. I'm just doing whatever, apparently. Probably just do something similar with the race. In fact, I could do it um, without a shifter. I can just make sure that MP is enabled and just like use node expression. Why is that? Why would that be there? I don't remember doing that. Okay, very strange. I must have done that accidentally at some point. Yeah, that's about what I want. Let's maybe, yeah. Uh, originally when I was making the song, I was gonna like really base it around having these like super distorted with the sub, um, MIDI style vocal synths that don't sound like vocals at all. They sound like terrible MIDI keyboard attempts at it. Um, and that was a good idea when those were gonna be a focal point of the song. Now they're not a focal point of the song, they just sort of appear a little and out of nowhere, which makes them sound kind of goofy which was the point originally but the stuff surrounding them is less goofy so them being so goofy is maybe out of place like that's 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 some goofy music <laughs> I, uh, we we could just lean more into MIDI sound fondness. I think so. Like if terrible trumpets or something. What, 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 let's see how we feel about that. Let's see how we feel. This is, uh, I guess brass, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's really. Oh, that's actually too good. That doesn't sound terrible and MIDI enough. These sound not terrible, which is not good for what I want. It needs to sound way worse. Um, as strings. Strings are never good. Wait, a pizzicato. Fuck. Distorted total shit. You know what? Let's just leave it at the terrible vocals. I think. I'm not going to get a better idea. And like the insane, like way too much distortion, but I kind of think it's a vibe. Maybe. I hope. Okay, so what's our intro? I think, okay, well, f uh, but def f by default we should just at least have the same vinyl here.
still my my feeling there is that that's it's too complete for the intro still we need to we need to have things being the drums not quite as loud not quite as hitting not quite as punchy so that again once we get into the actual drop they are they have an impact from becoming punchy from becoming loud i think we're just <laughs> off by the time we get into the actual drop. What if we stop the drums there? off for the actual rest of the song but here I'm going to just high pass this a little towards the end I don't know how much we need <laughs> we need a just a reverse crash crash as well <laughs> I don't even want to think about having to mix this song. It's gonna be a nightmare. This this half not so bad. This half unmixable, I think. That's not mixable. Here's the cup of big toe. What does big what does big toe mean? Big toe. I think we need to make sure it's like fully dead silent before. Weekend. All right, let's leave the intro be for a bit and go look at the second drop and look in the gaps that are left there's not many gaps okay so there's a pre-drop gap that needs something what have we got pre-drop gap that needs something mid-drop gap that needs something and a gap at the very end of the drop so just need like three things to fill out those sections. whoa what is wrong there? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't reset the pitch shifter on the pad. Yeah, that would sound shit. Okay, okay. We 
also need to do the same thing on the race here because fuck, which is the race? You know, you, I should I should label like a single track in this project it would probably help. Um, but I need to high pass this a little towards the end. Mm, let's just go with that. Um, just need to make that impact bigger. Yeah, I need crashes. I, I don't know why I'm procrastinating. <laughs> need more high end. Why I've removed high end, I don't know. Okay. I still don't know what I need here. Okay, here we need something to bridge the two halves of this drop. So we have totally like non-melodic you know nothing then we have the non-melodic but riser into the second half of the drop which has like the melodic and harmonic content on top of the gross stuff and again i don't know how i'm gonna mix that to not sound muddy and shit but we'll cross that bridge sometime in the next three hours <laughs> It needs something to, to actually bridge that gap and take it from not melodic to melodic. The funniest thing to do <laughs> would be MIDI. <laughs> To bring back the MIDI vocal sounds like one of these guys but I don't know if you can fit in anything relevant in in this little one bar uh, but I can sure try I mean, it should be reminiscent of like one of these <laughs> Oh, it's going to be way too fast. Does that work? I don't know if that works. Let me um at least get the like bass that would go with it. That doesn't work at all for sure. That's no good. Stuff at the bottom of the screen is tearing through your eyes. Well, I mean, we could always add more to the bottom of the screen. We haven't gotten another, uh, any more five dollars, but I mean, it's been it's been like thirty five minutes. Let's let's just have a celebratory wheel spin. Oh, here we go. You never know what we'll get. Ah, oh, well, classic. There we go. As simple as that. I mean, we've all we've all been doing all nighter for. I mean, gosh, like eighteen hours. It's a bit hard to concentrate. 
There we go. That'll help. Lovely. There we go. I don't need to get distracted anymore. There's nothing to be confused about because no, it doesn't make any sense. Does that help? It's just nonsense. Is that does that explain it? My, I'll tell. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> my, so my original plan when I realized, you know, once I put a twenty-one by nine monitor into the, a sixteen by nine stream, my, my genuine plan was to take that subway surface video and just stretch it super wide. Just, I don't. Um, this was genuinely what I was gonna do. Let me let me just see if I can. Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. So I've I've decided not to. Me, I'm streaming. Hello, Hamish. A burnt mood. They've got me on. There's no <laughs> there's no one else away. The bottom right and top right. But I don't want to cover up the actual Ableton window. The whole point was to fill up the screen. I mean, we could do it. I mean, let me take... You know... Um, oh. I mean, where, where we could put him somewhere? Is here good? Yeah, good size. Just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. And here, you know what I can do with that as well is um, I can then let me. I can I can uncrop the Ether Minecraft Let's Play um, so that we can really see all of that great content from two thousand and ten. There we go. Widescreen, yeah, that's a. I think this is a really good, really good use of stream real estate. Um, cool. Well, we'll we'll do one more. We'll do another wheel spin. At at um, in ten minutes. I don't know what, I know what time it is for me, but it's not relevant to probably anyone else watching. Um, we'll do another wheel spin. We'll see what we get, and then I don't know. The last like five minutes, we're just going crazy, I guess. Sweet. All right. Shout out Ether. I mean, absolutely. What what a formative experience that was. All right. So this is. I just I like the crunchiness, but I don't like the actual base patch being there. So I might just have to fake crunchiness um, with. I think an auto pan is probably just the best way. You take an auto pan, you give it like. It's like kind of crunchy. Crunch adjacent. Soft clip it. Yeah, I could. Hmm. I'm really sort of an amateur with clipping. I my my I I need to one day actually sit down and just learn all the Amsimil <laughs> snare. Yeah, all right. Amsimil. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, let's just have a listen. Let's do it, just for research. This probably sounds great. I mean, I mean, I'm doing some snare crimes anyway. All I've got for I've got amp. There you go. Oh, on the whole drums. Why not? Pretty good. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yeah. Now that's music. Let me just make sure that that's on um the other drums for the drum and bass section as well. well I'll, I'll put it on the whole group. Let the hats and the rides have it as well. Why not? There we go. It's 
Sounds great. All right. I'm going to make sure that that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> what was I doing? Um, right. I was going to just enable this auto pan here. <laughs> I really like how everything sounds there. It's just going to need so much cleaning up. Um, I think the strings, I need to really carve out a ton of the strings so that they sit nicely on top of and with all the scrunchly, crunchly bass, which like already before I add the like harmonic and melodic elements. <laughs> It's, it's not the cleanest sounding thing in the world, but I sort of don't mind it too much there. So I knew that this, uh, ooh. Let me, let me try to say that again with syllables. I need to think about what I'm doing with this up here. So at the moment, that's too, like... It sounds nice, but it needs it needs to be more present. It needs to be a, it needs more high-end, less, like, mids and stuff. Let me just... I'm at the point in this project where I just need to finish it, so I, nothing is going to be neat. It's just going to be, like going my workflow at this point breaks down and what i do is i just start getting eqs for every situation just being like all right here's an eq and i'll just enable it for this section only um and so i end up with like 18 eqs that just getting turned on and off at random times um and if, eventually i like redo that on the same track without realizing it and the one track will have like an eq that boosts its highs and at the same time another eq turns on to lower the highs um but it gets it done which is what i need <laughs> hear that at all. Maybe it should, just shouldn't even play. I mean, fucking hell, it needed an EQ. What the hell is going on down here? flavor pop tarts i've never i've never really had pop tarts no big thing in australia i don't think i've ever had a pop tart i've had toaster waffles once but that's different that's not a pop tart you just go on the toaster fuck with this heavy oh thanks so much i'm i'm like pretty happy with it um i think like i, I i'm gonna get the mix to a, probably a point where i'm like that's a six out of ten and i'm gonna be happy if the mix is a six out of ten because i feel like in terms of like composition and creativity and and like trying something weird i feel like i've done that i feel like i've i've made something that i can be proud of in that regard Am I going to make a mix that I can be proud of? Probably not. <laughs> it's just a bit of a mess. There's so many elements going on. Um, but I think it's like at least a kind of cool tune. And I can be happy that I managed to make it, in, you know. 
That's true. Mixing isn't real. We we can just like say it's an artistic choice that it's like muddy and you know <laughs> bad. <laughs> People just don't understand my vision. That's the problem. That's the problem. I'm just like I'm actually just like too good for them. They just don't understand that. Yet. That's that must be what it. That must be what it is. <laughs> All right, well, actually, let's think about tackling the strings. that for now is fine. I do sort of wish the bass glitches were slightly less... What's a word that describes what I'm thinking? I don't think there is one, so I'm going to use the word gobbled. I wish they were slightly less gobbled. But, like, I don't know what the hell... Like, I did this... I mean, I must have done this at some point today, but I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's just, like, band-aids on top of band-aids. Um, until it makes noises. So I don't... I'd, I'm not going to fix it. Because I don't... That, that's a level of surgery that I can't perform. Um, Alright, well, let's... What did I need to do here? I need to do something to make this pop a little harder. Crashes, crashes, crashes. I need crashes. But also, this is just louder. This is just louder. I'm probably going to just have to put a utility on the master at some point and just start mucking around there a little. Um, just not a bad idea to do. It just feels like a bit of a hack to me. You can always do the fun thing of like um, turning like width ever so slightly down, like pre-drop, and so the drop feels wider. You didn't actually do anything, you just cheated. But you know. Like, let me... Well, that'll be way too much, actually. Let's do like 80. <laughs> Even 80 is probably like too much. I still need something there. Uh, I still need to pre-drop something. All right, there's 10 minutes left, so let's let's have a celebratory wheel spin. I reckon. Uh, let me find that. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, sweet. Um, so that means I'll be turning on my webcam, which will fill up the entirety of the bottom uh, like this. Perfect. I think this is what an ideal stream should look like. Uh, let's carry on like this for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> If we get any, if we if we do manage to get more donations, we'll keep spinning the wheel, of course. But that's the last. That'll, that'll be the last free spin until like the last minute. We'll do one more then. Why not? So what can? I could have like one of these scrunchly bass noises like Ugh, it would need a lot of treatment um we just like i don't know yeah sure i yeah whatever you say this is 
maybe a, a horrible idea, maybe a great idea. We won't be out of nowhere until it's done. At which point we'll be able to say, of course it's a bad idea. Oh yeah, well, guys, it's a bad idea. Mm. That is, that is, I was, is not the answer to our questions. I would say not the answer to any question. That. Your, your gift is still here. We made it bigger. Um, because someone told me to move it. Let's make it, I mean, it's such a good, like, look at that. I mean, that's... It makes me really happy. I don't know if it's just because I'm exhausted and anything would, like, just fry my brain that way. Um, but I, I, I do love him and I do care for him immensely. What a great guy. I'm still at a loss as to what goes here. It's, it needs something else as well, but I'm not quite sure what. I'm not quite sure. It's something else we can look at. It's not much longer. I've only got like five minutes, so. Oh my god. And then at that point, I have to finish the song in three hours. <laughs> My work cut out for me. some of this vocal synth bullshit a little earlier somehow. It might literally not be in key. I'm like, I, I don't think I've cared less about key in any song I've ever made before. So I think if I just play this here, there's like probably just a 50% chance it doesn't work and I'll need to try tweak it. <laughs> That works there. Yeah, it, it immediately stops working one chord later. Literally note one. We can't have that. It needs to be a... I mean... I can't... I don't even know what's wrong. It's so out of key. So fast. Um, we need to check the actual, that is a re-space, I mean, G, yeah, we can have, well, let's, let's say, we might have that there and we'll just, can we just disable this? Saturator. 
I mean, it's going into another saturated layer. Like, this, this whole thing is... I mean, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. All right, we don't have much longer. Let's let's get some wheel spins to end the stream. I think. So one or two more, just 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 for the hell of it. Heck. Huh. What have we got? Hydration check. That would have been a good one to get earlier. We're gonna have this uh, check hydration. We'll just uh, continue to move by the bottom of the screen there, very slowly. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make it super fast actually, so that we can see it a few more times. Yeah, it'll zoom by. It'll zoom by now. And start preparing to end because um, the next streamer is gonna be on in just a moment. Well, I'm glad I'm glad I could entertain a few people who I mean it's it's either either easy or hard, I guess, if you've been awake for like 20 hours. Maybe you know your brains are mushed enough that a few bleep, bleep bloop sounds can get you there. But I mean like that um lion dog gif is also I mean that's heavy lifting. I mean, that's... It's hard not to be entertained with that, isn't it? Um, so I'm, I'm going to let the stream start ending now. I'm going to just keep sort of spinning and, and get all these things I set up ready to go. Oh, there we go. That would be... Yeah, there we are. Lovely. I hope... I hope... I hope uh, you all had a nice time. I hope you're having a good all-nighter. I love all-nighters so much. This is my favorite, like, one of my favorite events every year. I look forward to. Because I get to make absolute dog shit. <laughs> Let's just play it out. I shouldn't have put this one in. This 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 one is such a niche in joke. There's probably two people in the whole form Discord, but if they saw it, they'd go mental. <laughs> they saw it, they'd go, they'd lose their mind. Um, but <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll leave it there. I'll let the next person go on. They're they're probably looking at the Twitch page right now, waiting their turn, and they're. Probably very confused by what they're seeing, and I don't blame them. Anyway, I hope you've all had a nice time. You've got three hours left to finish our songs, which is what I'm going to be doing now. So thank you all so much. Goodbye. <laughs>